Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the Fell for It Challenge. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 but before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Also, if you've missed any challenges from the Art of Scale, I will leave a link in the description of the full playlist of videos that I've covered so far. But for this one, we're going to start in the default location, bringing along our lockpick, coin, and our pistol. Uh, just like we do for most challenges. So, for this particular challenge, I'm just going to fast forward through all this bit until we get to the middle, the main part of the area. Because again, I don't want to show 40 seconds of uh, just running to the same areas every, every video. So, we need to acquire ourselves an ARC member disguise. And essentially what you need to do for this challenge is push, uh, I think it's Sophia off the off the top of the tower thing. But there's a lot of steps we need to do to, in order to for that to happen and get her in that position. So first of all we're going to turn off that uh, that case right there and we're going to distract that me that ARC member. We're going to grab the wrench from the table that we just picked up there and we're going to knock him out. We're going to hide his body in the crate and take his disguise. Next we're going to head all the way upstairs and we're going to need to sneak into uh, a room in order for us to acquire ourselves some uh, blueprint documents. We're going to get that off one of the another ARC member and you will know exactly which one it is because he will be the only person that comes into a certain area and I'll show you when I, I'll show you that when I actually get to that point there. So just follow exactly where I'm going and I'll lead you to the room where you need to be. Have a good evening sir. Just keep in mind some of these outside areas are trespassing areas, so just keep running and you shouldn't get spotted, you should be fine. But once you get up these stairs here, you can want to climb up this ledge, and then climb through the window. And this is the room that I was talking about. Now just in front of us, there's going to be a door, and, and that's where the, uh, the guy is going to approach us. It's going to be in this area, so we're going to actually use our coin to lure him into the room and that's when we're going to go ahead and take him out see from using your instinct you have no idea who it is but so you'll know once he it basically walks into this area because he, he's the only one that comes into this area by himself so that's when you'll know it's him here he comes so you just want to throw a coin in the room he's an enforcer so you want to watch out for that just make sure he doesn't turn around when he walks in so we're just going to go ahead and use a wrench and knock him out. Damn. Going to grab the blueprint documents that are on the floor. And then we're going to take his disguise as well as hide his body in the crate. Now you've caught this disguise and you've got the blueprints. Now we need to go and talk to the constant. And he should be heading up the stairs at this point in time. And all you got to do is, uh, from that point is basically head to his room. Nice. You'll engage in a, a nice. bunch of conversations. And then eventually he will call, uh, I think it's uh, Sophia, to the roof. And that is when he's going to have a, a conversation with her. And then eventually she's going to be by herself. And that is when we're going to go ahead and push her off the roof. So all of this basically plays out by itself. You don't really need to do much from this point. It's pretty much to just follow him to where he needs to go. Uh, which is just being a tower. Just, just to your left, there's going to be like a little bridge, and that that will that'll lead you to the room where you need to go. And it's just in that room there. If you uh, give him the documents after he asks, and he's going to call up Sophia, and you're going to need to make your way to the roof after they engage in conversation. Good evening, sir. Please come in. May I see those blueprints again, please? Interesting. Big mistakes and now I've skipped a bunch this. of dialogue there. I'm not sure if you guys ever want to keep me want me to keep the dialogue in these videos or not. I mean, they are walkthroughs after all, Sir, but I'm never, uh, I never know whether you want me to keep the dialogue in for these sort of things. They can last for a couple of minutes, so usually I just tend to cut them out for convenience sake. I mean, if you just only want a guide, then surely you wouldn't want the dialogue, but it's, it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments as well, by the way. I need feedback on this. I need to know whether you want me to keep the, this sort of thing in, the dialogue in, 
I mean, for this video, I'm going to cut it all out. But um, in future, if you want me to keep dialogue and, and the kills in the video, then let me know. And uh, I will uh, be sure to keep it in in the future. But for this one, we're going to cut it all out. But th this is basically the way you want to go to the roof. Climb out the window, go around the ledge, and then climb up the pipe. And it will lead you into this little bathroom. And just in the other window is where he's going to have a conversation with her. It, that can last for quite a while as well. So again, up for the benefit of the video, I'm going to cut it until the end. And then she's going to be by herself. So as you can see, that was another two-minute conversation. She's going to be trying to contact Zoe right now, but we're going to push her. And that will take care of the fell for it challenge. So that's, if just in case you were wondering how you did it, that's how you do it. There's a lot of stuff you need to go through and a lot of dialogue to go through as well. Again, it takes... 10 minutes of in-game time, but I've cut out all the dialogue for you, so hopefully it's more convenient for you. So that's how you do the challenge. So that's going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out or if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. For the full playlist of videos, check out the link in the description. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.